Hello everybody and welcome to another Pokemon Black walkthrough. I am Pokegon912. And as you know, we did almost absolutely nothing in the last walkthrough. First, we got pulverized by Cynthia. Then, we went and took like 10 minutes just to catch a Mantike. And then I showed you some of the Pokemon I got from Mr. Gift. But now that we're all prepared to journey off into the sea, I am going to use an extra pill. And there's some diving water there. I have no idea if I have dive. Do I have dive? Let us see. No, I don't. I have only... Why can't I select these? There we go. We have four TMs. I have one, two, three, and four. Cut fly, strength, surf, and strength. That's it. I feel I should have more. But anyway, apparently I don't have dive. There's probably someone here who gives it to you. As I said earlier, I haven't played Pokemon in a while. The sea! Oh my goodness! That guy has issues. Ah, uh, Cynthia, why are you so Cynthia? Um, wow, the people here have issues. It's just crazy. Not speak properly. This guy is just way too excited right here. And this guy is in love with Cynthia, but cannot describe her. And I just wasted her hell. Great. And there's the maid. Maybe you give me dive. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I got it. Dive. You know what? I'm going to teach that to Mantite. Because... I don't want to teach it to Krillin, and I believe he's the only Pokemon on my team that can learn dive, and even if he wasn't, I wouldn't want to teach it to any other Pokemon on my team. So, I went to deposit by accident, I wanted to do move, and take Mantike out, and I guess switch it for Krillin. You know, I named my Mantike Little Devil, because I hate it, because it took 10 minutes to... Catch it. It's crazy. It's the sh most. Uh, what's the word for it? Hmm. The most persistent Mantite ever to not be caught. It was persistent not to be caught. Alright. And we have no Pokemon that don't surf now because I got rid of Krillin. Great. So I teach me Mantite surf too. I will get rid of Confuse Ray. Double Learn Surf, awesome. And now for Dive. At least we're, so far we've been more productive in this walkthrough than the last walkthrough. We've done more in three minutes in this walkthrough than we did in my entire last walkthrough, which was about 20 minutes. Ugh. This room should be forgotten. Ugh. It's a tough choice. Let's say Water Pulse. Ta-da, and Mantike learn dive. Mantike, let's surf. Another Mantike! This is a stronger Mantike than my... than the Mantike I caught. So, whatever. And I forgot to use a Max Repel, too.
Let us die. Let's see what's under here. The animation in this game is so much better than it was in Ruby and Sapphire when the diving was first released. And in, so far is the only game where diving was possible. Dang it, that is... What the heck just happened? I didn't do anything. And it just... I resurfaced. There must be some sort of current there. This has spiral down. Why do I have to spiral down? I mean, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, all I'm doing is swimming over to that underwater civilization there. The lost city of Atlantis. Ooh, it's a maze. Click. The sound reverberates. Now, I know here it's like you, it's like in Ruby and Sapphire where there was Braille, only this is just weird symbols. And I know it's like you have as much, you have like a certain amount of time to find as much treasure as you can or something like that. See? Just made a sound. It reminds me of Mystery Dungeon, honestly. Or it's like if you stay in one floor of the dungeon too long, then it will make noises and then the wind will carry you off into the distance. I don't know why that would happen. In fact, this actually rem this music reminds me of Sky Tower from the original Mystery Dungeon. It's crazy. Let us continue our search to find treasure. And I know there's like some useless treasure, a lot of useless treasures actually. Although so far I'm only finding Arceus plates, and that um, there's this weird guy. Who lives in Undella Town? See, Undella Town is full of people with problems. Well, this one guy just happens to be rich, and he'll take them. Oh, see, here we go. Relic Silver. You can get like 50,000 Pokey for that. I believe that's what they call the Pokemon currency. Uh oh. That was a loud sound. I'm running out of time. It's not good. Oh, we found another item. Flame plate. I'm finding all the Arceus, all the Arceus's plates today, and they were like copper. And here's another one. That plate. Whoops. I honestly have no idea where I'm going right now. Oh, an item's down there. I don't think I'm going to be able to get to it, though. Nope. I'm out of here. Yeah, there's no way I'm getting to that. I'll try. Yep. Here, throwing a wire. I am being flushed out of this glorious maze. Well, uh, yeah, that's about it, uh, there, there's a whole bunch of items you can find. Now uh, we'll go show you the weird guy right now. Up, oh, hello, her! Oh, I'm not catching you, Pelper. Too lazy. Alright, I believe the weird guy lives in this huge house right here. So, uh, on a black to white to note, uh, I believe I told you that I w in the last video actually, that, uh, I was, uh, playing a ROM. Oh, well, here's the guy. The ultra rich billionaire. Alright, yes, I do have an, such an item. No, that's not the item. He just said, yes, I believe it is different. 
You know what I'm talking about? Where is it? Reddick Copper. Wait, you want that? Only a thousand! Wow, that's stupid. I thought it'd be like 50,000. This is 5,000. That's a bowl. Can't believe it. That is some Tauros crap right there. I made a funny. Instead of saying bull crap, I said Tauros crap. Ha ah. ha Alright, uh, I'm probably gonna come back there later once I find my strategy guide so I can make this more like a walkthrough and not just doing random stuff. Because so I feel bad. I feel, I feel like my walkthroughs are just terrible because I'm not showing everything. But, uh, yeah. Oops, got some stuff there. Oh, I target something there. My iPad. No, I zoomed out. Well, I zoomed out apparently. Apparently now I know how to zoom in. Oh, we got an old lady that wants to battle me. Bring it on, old lady. I will battle anyone. Socialite Marion. Remember, in fourth generation they were called veterans. Now they're just called socialites. Weirdos. I don't even know what social I did to tell you the truth. Flare oh, no, not flame blitz, flare blitz. You should know that. Any of that, I'm gonna crick it out there. Shy Mecho. I will switch to Trunks to take it on. Oh, I forgot to take Mantike off my team. Oh well. Pokemon are so much higher level than mine. Even their, even my trunks is still one level below them. That stinks. We played. And I kind of lost track of talking about black two and white two again. But uh, yeah, so uh, as some of you might know who have played the ROM. Black 2 and White 2, in my opinion, at least, are a lot harder than Black and White, and there's a lot more in-depth story involved. I've only gotten to the fourth gym, so I can't tell you much about it, but, uh, yeah, all I know is, like, there aren't as many trainers that you fight along the way, and the gym leaders are much harder to beat, like, Drayden, the dragon gym leader, for example, uh, is only the seventh gym leader in Black Two and White Two, even though he's the eighth in Black and White, and yet his team is more powerful. And like I believe in Black and White, his best Pokemon Haxorus was level 41, but now it's going to be level 46. And I got that from Serebii.net, honestly. But uh, yeah, other than that, um, yeah, the story seems a little more in depth. There's a lot more uh, puzzle type situations that you have to do. Like, uh, I'm in Driftvale City right now. Or, no, it wasn't Driftvale City where this was. Uh, it was uh, Verbank City where um, you fight the poison type gym leader. And um, there was this uh, power plant where you had to find uh, this guy. And he would. I believe give you an HM cut and you need to uh, use that somewhere. Uh, anyway, dang, what am I doing? I need to get Krillin. Krillin! And this walkthrough has also shown to be very unproductive as I'm not doing much and is already 14 minutes in. I'm gonna go a lot longer in this walkthrough. I'm gonna do some more stuff. I did my last walkthrough. Alright, on to the next route. Do -do 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 -do. 
There's socialites. Oh, nope, these guys are gentlemen. Gentleman Yan. That just sounds like an Asian name. I don't mean to be racist at all, but uh, it just does. Not entirely, really. Like, maybe if his name was Khan, I'd say uh, uh, Yan. And maybe Irish? I don't know, I can't tell what kind of name that's me. Not good with that, I really don't know sound racist, so. Yeah. And DK grew level 60, yeah, that's amazing. Grumble. I kind of a perfect Pokemon to, to fight with that. Drew! Sock and Throw are just the weirdest Pokemon ever. They, they're actual people. Wait. Sock looks like an actual person. Like an actual karate master. Wait, Drew, I named him after someone in my karate class, honestly. Because he looks just like him. He's bald, too. Just so you know. Person in my karate class. No sweet. Should be dang it. I thought low sweep, no, it's low kick where it's based on the weight of the opponent. No! Brick break! Anyway, yeah, I just think that's really weird how it's, it's an actual human like Pokemon. But then again, they did that with Hitmonchan. So I can't really say anything about that. Oh, double battle, here we come. Also, uh, in Black 2 and White 2, I was just thinking about this, triple battles. I don't know if, like, they'll add more or not, but, um, I hope they do. I believe I've been in one rotation battle so far in Black and White 2. I mean, not Black and White, Black, and, Black, 2, and, Black 2 and White 2. So, uh, hopefully there will be more of the triple battles and rotational battles. Mine and Surf. No, I will use Surf because I'll hit DK as well. I will use Rock Slide. Super Power! Like Donkey Kong. His name is Donkey Kong. I had to take that off. Oh man, Rockside missed. Fire Punch. And Aqua Jet. Pretty used Aqua Jet. Boom. Take that. We did it. We defeated two. Innocent little girls. Hurry for us. It's a hiker. I challenge you to a battle of hikers. You know, you're just observing the watchers there. Oh, it's not hikers, it's a fisherman. Alright. Oh, I should switch out. Alright, uh, it's not a good matchup to water. Uh, I will still use super power on Cabby, but it will still be effective. Switch! Send out trunks! I still haven't decided what starter I'm going to pick for Black 2 and White 2. I kind of want to pick Snivy again, just because of the whole memory link thing, where it's like, you can, um, well, actually, it wouldn't matter then. But memory link, um, takes, it, like, links up with your, uh, any black version or white version, and then you can, like, you can get... Um, 
uh, battles with Charon and Bianca, and they'll have the same teams that they had in Black and White, and it's based off of what starter you had in Black and White. So it wouldn't really matter what starter I picked in Black 2 and White 2. I'm thinking of... I don't really want Snivy again, just because I don't want to be repetitive. I kind of want a balance of starters. And uh, in White version... The white version that I have, I took Oshawott, so I definitely want to choose Tepig this time. I just don't know in which game. I think I'm probably going to choose Tepig in um, white version, too, and uh, have Osh... Yeah, I'm going to have uh, Oshawott for this game. Well, there you go. Spoiler alert. I am choosing Oshawott for my starter in uh, Black 2. Well, there you go. Oh man, I really should switch the trunks in front. So all these water trainers here. Superpower DK. Even though you're a fire type, you can still win. But then again, Search Kit's also a bug type, so yeah. I'm sad though, because when I get Black 2 and White 2, I'm not going to be able to play them that much because I have a massive amount of homework. Even though I have uh, Columbus Day on um, off, which is Monday, uh, I have church on Sunday, so uh, that's gonna waste a lot of time. And so I just decided that, I'm not saying that church is a waste of time, I'm just saying like, I wanna do all my homework on Sunday uh, so I can have a maximum amount of time on Monday, because eh, I'll have more time on Monday to play Black 2 and White 2, so it really maximize the time I get to use it. Also, on what I said earlier, I actually really like going to church. I am a Christian. Hopefully that doesn't offend any of you non-Christian viewers out there, but I am a Christian. I'm just sharing so much stuff. That I would never share before. It's probably because I have barely had any sleep lately because of all my homework. It's crazy. Anyway. Oh, the secret agent right here. Dang it. Can't battle the secret agent. Oh, but he did give me a blue flute, which is completely useless. I don't use flutes. Oh, so this guy must uh, give you uh, random items every day. Let's see what's in this house. Barging into this person's house. Oh, this guy's gonna reward me. Oh, none of oh wait. But, oh, this is the guy. This is the guy that teaches frenzy plant, blast burn, and um, hydro cannon. I wonder if I should teach. Uh, trunks here. Uh, frenzy plant. Should I? I actually like his moves. Personally. The way they are now. I'm gonna keep it that way. I'm not gonna teach it frenzy plant. Alright. I wonder what this old lady's gonna teach me. I bet she teaches Draco Meteor. Oh, nope. She just tells you what... He teaches. Never mind. Alright, I get it. Why don't you tell me twice? I don't think I battled this person. Oh! It's a bubbling water. Nope, guess I already did. She was probably the person that searched it, and you. Nope, you are not the fisherman. And I forgot to switch trunks to the front again. I am so stupid. At least this guy only has magic cards. Yeah, you know, I'm actually gonna switch voltage to the front. Because I haven't trained him that much. I completely forgot about him actually. Switch the voltage. Do 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 do
And he's got another magic card. This is one of those spam fishermen, as I like to call them. They just have magic cards, and that's it. That really pisses me off, actually, because magic cards are really weak, and they barely give any experience out of them. So, anyone, any fisherman like that, I just call them a spam fisherman. This is one of them. You hear that, fisherman Mick? You are a spam fisherman. Voltage, take out his final magic card and win this battle. Uh, so, um. Yeah. I don't know what else to talk about. I want to talk about something else. Uh, recently, I have been getting into Yu Gi Oh! Uh, again in the time that I have been not doing walkthroughs. I've been getting really into Yu-Gi-Oh. Hey. From around Absolute Power Force to, uh, well, I won't, probably not all of you are Yu-Gi-Oh fans, but for any of you Yu-Gi-Oh fans, uh, from the packs Absolute Power Force to Generation Force, I was kind of Nine to Yu-Gi-Oh, I was really playing Pokemon a lot and doing stuff with that. But then after Photon Shockwave, I don't know why, I just started really getting into it. I was watching the anime a lot, um, just uh, looking at looking at the cards, the new Xyz monsters, and everything. But uh, yeah, I sh started getting into it again. I started going to sneak peeks. I uh, hadn't been to a sneak peek since I was uh, 10 years old. I went to the Strike of Neo sneak peek. And that was fun, even though I got scammed out of Card Trader, because back then Card Trader was super rare. I got it, and I was like, eh. Back then, I was just obsessed with Jade and Yuki. And, uh, yeah. I was just... I only wanted his cards, and that's why I like Strike of Neos, because... All Neo Spations, really. I got all the. Uh, I got two of the Neo Spations. I didn't get any of the Neoses. And uh, also, I took interest in the six Samurais that came out. I said, oh, a Lunatone. That was just very ADD ish right there. Just completely going to a random pot there. But anyway, uh, yeah, I was just really obsessed with Jin Yugi and the uh, six Samurais. Just because there were six of them, it was kind of like an archetype. I just really liked that whole idea of collecting all the cards. I ended up getting all the six samurais through trades. So, yeah. And, uh, but, so, back to the card trader situation. I was, uh, this guy offered me a Wing Karibo for a card trader. And I'm like, it's Wing Karibo, it's Jaden's card, I have to have it, so... Like, yeah, then I ended up trading the Wing Karibo for a lot wilder because that was also Jane's card and it sucked less than the Wing Karibo. So, yeah. But, anyway. Uh, so, back to the present times. Uh, I've been going to Sneak Peaks. I went to the Galactic Overlord and returned to a Sneak Peak. Uh, Galactic Overlord, I didn't pull much. Except for uh, the super rare heretic dragon of Gabeb. That was it. Uh, what move should I use? I use super power. Um, then in uh, Turn of the Duelist, I pulled an ultimate rare uh, spell with Magician of Prophecy, and I killed Lunaton there. Kind of hard talking about two different things at once. But uh, anyway, uh, yeah, and I ended up trading it for Black Rose Dragon, because I needed that for the deck I'm going to use in the YCS Providence that is coming up. And so, yeah, now you know I live around Rhode Island, the Rhode Island area. So, uh, yeah, that kind of thing, so you know that I live there. Youngster Aster. That is a great name. It's like Aster Phoenix from Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. 
Amazing, I'm gonna say. He's not using water Pokemon, that's great. Uh, so yeah, I was pretty satisfied with that. Uh, I ended up getting a lot more packs of Return Duelist. They got the Gear Geekin X that everyone's been wanting lately. Uh, uh, I don't see much into it. Like, I, uh, I don't know, I just don't like the Gear Gear Archetype that much. Just because right now there aren't that many cards for it, there's only five. There's no spells or traps, I don't believe. So, uh, it's just those five cards, and they're pretty weak. So you'd have to combine it with, like, Ancient Gears or, uh, Machinas to actually make it a good deck. Which can be effective. I'm not saying it's not effective. I mean, if you want to do that, you can do that. But I'm not going to do that. So, uh, yeah. But anyway... We just killed this guy, Youngster Aster. Not killed him, but uh, defeated him. Yeah, Pokemon's not fun like that. You kill other uh, Pokemon, not the actual people. It's not violent at all. Just animal abuse. Another Lunatone. I have a second chance to capture a Lunatone. Fire. Holy fire punch. Yeah, no, let me see. Oh, why am I using superpower? Killed the last one. She used fire punch. Oh, well. And it killed it. Oh. Now I'm gonna actually switch DK because I. There are probably gonna be more water trainers. And I'm gonna tr switch it to blaster, actually. Because uh, I'm gonna train some of my weaker Pokemon here. Oh, it's another gentleman. Well, it's a painter or artist. I believe they used to call them painters. Oh, camera. I picked an okay choice to start off with in pheasant because uh, ground does not affect flying. I'm gonna try and use Razor Wind. Aw oh, man, you know Rock Slide? I'm glad I didn't use Fly. Oh, in the end of me. And the present dead. Oh dang, I didn't even realize. The camera's holding 65, that's crazy. My Pokemon are really not high enough level to beat these guys. Aqua Jet. That should kill it since it's times 4 effective. Yep. This I got a lot of experience on to this. Oh, I got a little thing on there. The yes, screen there. Please be in the town. It's a Tangela. What do I like to see in this game? A shiny. I have not seen a shiny, like in a ran just a random shiny in my walkthroughs at all. That'd be awesome. Let's see a shiny. Now, how do I get out of here? No, I haven't used my Rackshaw Palace in a while. Let me do that. Probably have to surf out of here. Damn, this walkthrough's 30, been 35 minutes and we're only on one, we're only just getting out of this one room. Got prism scale. I don't think, what that, I don't know what that does. I'll check it out later. Oh, this is where Giant Chasm is. Yes, that can be my next walk, that'll be the next video. All right, we are in Giant Chasm. That's awesome. So, uh, I guess we're gonna catch Kyurem then. But anyway, for now, this is 
Hope you got 912. Signing off.